Alzheimer's is a truly heartbreaking disease that affects millions of people in the world. And today's Dr. Oz episode features some potentially revolutionary information on the disease, including possible ways to prevent it. A local doctor plays a big part in these developments. Dr. Suzanne Delamonte from Rhode Island Hospital is credited with the groundbreaking research that connected the dots and turned Alzheimer's research upside down in the process. Today, she sits down with Dr. Oz on his show. But first, she's joining us here this morning on our show. Good morning. And thank you so much for being here, doctor. We appreciate it. You're welcome. This is very exciting information that we're passing along to our viewers this morning. And I kind of want to begin with sort of a loaded question first. Explain what you discovered about diabetes and how it can affect Alzheimer's. Well, what we discovered is that the brain uh, in Alzheimer's disease has an impairment or an abnormality in using insulin. Mm -hmm. And just like diabetes, it can't use the insulin properly. That's called insulin resistance. Okay. And as a result of that, the cells starve to death. Oh, all right. So how does it actually affect Alzheimer's or, or those who are afflicted with Alzheimer's? What does it do? Well, for example, the insulin is really needed to make all the chemicals that neurons use to transmit. They mm -hmm. make, you have to use glucose, it's a very, or sugar, to metabolize. And if you don't metabolize, the brain uh, won't be able to make fuel or energy uh, to keep the cells alive. So just like in diabetes, type 2 diabetes, when cells can't use insulin, they run out of fuel, and they basically starve to death. And okay. in the brain, when the cells starve to death, they die. All right, so you're talking about diabetes in the brain, but how does that differ from diabetes in the body? Oh, well, there are two points. One is that there can be an insulin resistance in the brain all by itself. Okay. Most people with Alzheimer's, in fact, don't have diabetes. But a certain percentage of people have diabetes and Alzheimer's. There's okay. an overlap, and mm -hmm. it's now known that people with diabetes may have as much as a two times increased chance of getting Alzheimer's disease. Wow. And that's very important. A number of groups have shown this point, and that's of concern. All right, so are there, there things that people can do then? I mean, different foods they should avoid or different foods that they should eat um, to try to you know, avoid the onset of Alzheimer's if you have diabetes? Yeah, well, certainly people who have diabetes, certainly having it under control mm -hmm. and uh, losing weight and maintaining a good dietary balance will help reduce the risk for the people who have the overlap, that okay. group. Uh -huh. But some of the research we showed uh, found that toxins and, and preservatives in food can by themselves make both diabetes and Alzheimer's worse. And so the uh, suggestion is that by avoiding both the preservatives in the food that are adding to the diabetes as well as the brain injury, okay. uh, that would be good. So much information to sort out, really groundbreaking discovery here, and we're going to hear much more about it on Dr. Oz later today. We thank you for coming in this morning and sharing that with us. Be sure to watch the uh, Dr. Delamonte on the Dr. Oz show today at 3 p.m. right here on Fox Providence.